Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1007. Now, this episode right here was actually nice in a certain way. Many people may, may end up hating it and why they many dropped the One Piece anime because of the pacing and dragging out is taking too long. But if anything else, let's just get this started. <clears throat> After the opening, which I always enjoy listening to all the time, we have to it that we go back to the floor where Queen and the others are with the Ice Oni demons. Yes, you heard me and I said it. Ice only demons. It's the bullets that Queen uses to infect his his allies and foes alike in order to like turn them into demons. And the moment you get touched by them, you get infected too. And you turn into an ice demon and go on a rampage. You know, we have to that Queen actually has the antidote and passes it to Apu and says, "Hey, make sure you survive or you'll die. You know, or you'll be and make sure no one gets the antidote or you will die." <laughs> so pretty much, Queen plays a nasty game with Apu, saying, "Let's play ice only." Oni tag or let's grab the antidote you know and we have to it that chopper tells Zoro to get that antidote because that thing might be the clue to get everyone out of that infection or out of this ice only demon infection you know i thought it was pretty nice and cool the way how toei managed to like put in more cruelty and nastiness in queen you know in the manga it's obvious from the get-go but in the anime they expanded or dragged it out a little longer especially when they're him doing his dot set singing and dancing which I go like that was kind of hilarious here and there then we see a then we see a short scene with Kaido facing the nine red samurai once again and he ends up knocking back Inugarashi and Nikomamushi out of their sulong forms and Kaido says let's finish this once and for all you hear me and then the and then we go to a scene with Yamato having to talk to Shinobu and Momonosuke you know we had to it Yamato ends up telling Momonosuke and Shinobu that She's here to help him out, you know? And she explains about 20 years ago that she saw Kosuke Odin's execution and how his speech and everything else was so beautiful to her, you know? Not to mention um, how much Yamato told Momonosuke that she wanted to help Momonosuke that day, but Kaido was about to drop, drop Momonosuke off to his death, you know? But that's when she did not have any power. But now that she is stronger and better than before, she's ready to die and protect Momonosuke, you know? And then we see to it, like... Um, Preview of next episode is called Nami Surrenders, Oti's, fi Oti's Fierce Headbutt. And I go like, okay, we're getting closer to the event now. Although the dragging on of certain scenes and and filler content is really annoying, it's going to be worth it for me in the end. Because once we get to that major event, which I'm really looking forward to, it's really going to be worth it. I know Toe is going to do a good job on it. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot, ta da!